All right, so for this video, I want to talk about Adam 16 and how he's just down bad. He's trying to get uh, go viral again, and it's not working out. He's every ch uh, thing that he does to try to go viral fails. And usually what used to happen is he would try to go viral and it would work. But now everyone's just like, yeah, this guy sucks. And so recently what's been going on in the news is that this porn star uh, that's dating the guy from Hot Ones, the show where they eat the wings and it's hot. <laughs> and they drink the milk and it's a very successful show. Well, this guy was dating this porn star since October of last year. Well, a couple of days ago, uh, TMZ reported that they've been seen together at the Super Bowl. They're dating. They're in love. They're, you know, and so TMZ is reporting on it. And so uh, that's a big story. So Adam 16 sees this as an opportunity to attach himself to the story and hopefully go viral along with them by letting everyone know that he's had sex with this girl too on camera. So this is what he did when he learned that Hot Ones was dating the porn star lady. Uh, he made this tweet and he said, congratulations, Sean, her pussy's fire. As if that's not the most disrespect. I mean, what does he have beef with the guy from Hot Ones? It seems very much that Adam may have been denied a seat on the show to be on Hot Ones because Sean didn't invite him because Sean doesn't like Adam because Adam's a creep. So Adam makes this tweet. It gets picked up by multiple blogs. Adam 16 congratulates Sean for his porn star girlfriend. I mean, it was really uh, humiliating, I think, for Sean. To be associated in any way with the 16 was not good press. So Sean couldn't take the media involvement. He couldn't take the fact that Adam 16 was involving himself in his relationship. To even have Adam 16 mentioned in your private life is disgusting. So he broke up with this porn star on Valentine's Day, approximately 24 hours after receiving the congratulations from Adam 16. And so this made even more headlines. And so Adam was like, was like super excited. He was like, oh my God, I'm going to go viral again. And so he made this video post on his Instagram. And I want you guys to watch this. This is disturbing. Hey, Sean Evans, you know what I'm not feeling? I'm not feeling you breaking a sex worker's heart on Valentine's Day. Nobody deserves that. Melissa Stratton, she's a beautiful woman. Yes, she has chosen to have sex on camera for her career. Yes, she has had 13 inch dicks in and around her face, mouth, possibly butthole. I don't know. I got to go search it up. But you. So it does look like Adam's hair transplant surgery was botched and it looks like they went a little too close to the front of his face with the hair transplantations. So Adam's sort of playing it off like he's got this dry look, this pompadour, when in fact this is actually the Trump. How is this not Trump? He's hiding his frontal hairline with a little bit of a, a Trumpian swoosh. This is the exact same thing as a bad hairpiece. It's a toupee. Playing with her heart, and that's not cool, because she's a woman. And Valentine's Day is a sacred holiday, and you're supposed to treat girls right on Valentine's Day. Sean, I don't know why I have to tell you this. I feel like, you know, your parents probably should have taught you this at a certain point, but uh, Sean, you really don't want smoke with the sex worker community. So I would appreciate if you would apologize to Melissa for publicly shaming her on Valentine's Day, the sacredest of days. And then also I would like to invite you to come and lay something down on the plug talk couch. Let's see what you're packing. Uh. So he says that Sean publicly shamed this girl for breaking up with her. Meanwhile, Adam's on Twitter talking about her vagina, making a mockery out of her new relationship she just announced. He's talking about how he was fucking her, her pussy's so fire. That's humiliating. That's publicly shaming someone. Adam feels that he can talk about these women's bodies just because they're sex workers. That's public shame, okay? So, Adam, I'm going to need you to show some respect for these women that are being paid to sleep with you. They're not doing it because they want to, okay? You're disgusting. Do you understand? So, that was deeply disturbing, and I, this is almost juvenile, the way he's behaving. He's, I mean... God, it's so, it's difficult to watch. It really is. And No Jumper is in deep trouble. Their views are down so bad. We haven't seen Adam post his views in a while. He used to flaunt his analytics. He used to post screenshots saying, look all the views I'm getting. Well, those views are gone. Adam's channel is going to fail. Have you seen the new cast? Have you seen No Jumper's cast lately? It's literally insane. I just watched a, a vlog of the No Jumper cast receiving charity donations. 
from other creators, okay? So I'm going to actually show you a clip of this. Look at this. No jumper employees receiving donations. This is fucking crazy. Watch this. We're making some really amazing content for the Reddit right here. This is crazy, bro. Reddit about to go fucking insane. You're going to have a field trip. <laughs> Yo. So let me just explain what's going on here. So Steve will do it from Nelk Boys was holding this event where he was giving away like items and toys and stuff to black people just for being black. It's like sort of a reparations gag. And so you got these pathetic no jumper employees jumping all over the merch. We saw Dijon Mustard Paul hoisting up his new PS5. Those are for children. These aren't for no jumper employees. How fucking pathetic is this? This is Adam's literally laughing. It's this is bad, okay? And it went over a lot of people's heads, but I'm here to show you guys how crazy this is. No jumper employees. Look at Sharp. Sharp is claiming a gift. He is wearing a two million dollar watch. Okay, it's fake, but still. What's going on with this? Uh, he, he's got this Cuban around his, he's got a quarter million dollar necklace, but he needs a, a computer monitor to stream with. This is in, This is what's called insane. <laughs> Take a look at this thing. We got a Dell. It's a Dell. He about to. We got, got a monitor. It's over. <laughs> the monitor was the only thing stopping him. It's all monitor. He's done. He's done. I'm gonna start streaming. So Sharp got himself a monitor, okay, a $300 computer monitor. I'm about to start streaming around this bitch. Watch. I'm gonna have all the numbers. Watch, Church. He didn't do any of that. This is just, he probably re-gifted that. Isn't that sick? No Jumper is so silly and so down bad. You got Sharp the P, one of the biggest personalities to ever be on No Jumper, walking in with a plastic cup full of cheap champagne asking for free shit. I mean, this is insane. No Jumper is fucked. They're going down. And Adam knows it and he's afraid, desperately afraid of going down. So he's trying to go viral. He's trying to, we saw this a couple weeks ago when the Drake dick pic leaked. Adam was trying to attach himself to that story. He's trying to go viral along with that story. That didn't work. All day, finally made it back to the hotel room. I talked to Drake and um, I have to issue an apology to Aiden Ross. So now he's harassing porn stars in their private life. That didn't work. I mean, where do we go next? I mean, this is insane. And I'm starting to wonder if this recent stunt with this Hot Ones guy and his porn star ex-girlfriend, I wonder if this is going to affect his ability to book new talent for his porn stuff, you know, with them knowing that he could potentially make harassing tweets and stuff and embarrass and humiliate you afterward if you want to move on with your life and get a boyfriend. All of a sudden, you got this formerly obese BMX guy uh, making tweets about your pussy. That's not going to be good uh, for anything, for any relationship. Okay, so I hope you guys understand. And I hope you know that No Jumper and Plug Talk and all this stuff is going to be hugely unpopular very soon, if not already. And doing the, going on these platforms isn't going to help your career. It's only going to help Adam's career. Does that make sense? And that's all alleged. I don't know if anything I'm saying is true. This is scripted satire. But I just want to say, it's not helping your career. See, when No Jumper goes under and when Plug Talk and everything becomes nothing, that goes away. But what doesn't go away is the fact that you did porn on camera with them. That's forever. That's going to be up forever. Anyone can find it. So please don't do it. It's really disgusting. And you will hate yourself for it. So, I think. This is all alleged. No one can sue me. All right, so that's going to do it for this news bulletin. I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying the content and are hitting the like button and leaving comments. Uh, it really helps me out. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next video.